So we're looking at a Vista, looking at potentially repairing a Vista, that the OSD doesn't work. We've got NA for the battery voltage. So we don't have a functional MSP connection. So we're going to check real quick. It's hard to do this. So when it's in the Vista, this is power, ground, I think RX and TX. So we're going to go trying to do this to where I can see the video also. Sorry. We'll do this. We're going to check continuity between ground. Let's see if I can do this kind of single handedly. And then see, we have continuity on the new or on the TX pad. Uh, it's not here because I've already removed the diode. So let me show you that. And my camera does not like to focus very well. So if you see that one missing right there, oh boy, I had it there. So there's three little black diodes and then one up here. So that one is already removed. It kind of blew off. So I cleaned it up, broke the connection. You could see the two solder points. Um, so now we're going to remove the next one to it. So we can see the little diode again. So it's RX is the first one, and then TX is the second one, and then S bus is the third one. Uh, I personally don't ever use their receiver, so I've never really seen an issue with that, or the guys I know. So I'm repairing this for somebody else. So anyway, so it's RX, then TX. So we blew the RX um, diode and the TX diode but what we did was we removed the RX diode and that's why we didn't have continuity between ground and the first one so it's fixed it's not actually fixed what happens is when we remove that diode now we can use the Vista again and we will get our MSP communication and connection but if whatever caused this to blow in the first place happens again this vtx is done uh josh bardwell said it um on one of his videos where he was helping people troubleshoot a range issue he brought this up and he brought the test up um so what happens is this little diode is kind of like your one chance, your one GFCI or circuit breaker to protect this from a spike, from a load. Um, so we already blew it once. I don't know why, it wasn't my quad, I wasn't there, but we know that it blew both of them. So whatever it was, was great enough to blow it once. If it happens again and these are removed, the VTX is no longer protected. So do this with caution. Do this uh, at your own discretion. If you're running, if you're running a Vista, run caps. If you're running 6S, especially, make damn sure you're running large enough caps to handle whatever spike loads you can uh, get a hold of. Um, you don't want to ruin this thing. They are repairable. I know that if you reach out to Cyclone FPV. Um, they carry these they may not have them in stock all the time or they can also repair these for you let's get another close-up so you can see I have the two diodes removed the RX and then the TX I'm not gonna mess with the S bus I'm not worried about that so we're now going to check ground to RX and TX, sorry, and we have no ringy ringy, no continuity, 
but obviously the meter's working. So we have isolated the problem. I'm not gonna say we've fixed the problem, but we have made this workable again. Um, so now what I'll do is I'll test this uh, by just hooking up a wire set um, to like a standard flight control on 3 or 4S, something real super safe, real easy to manage. And then we'll check it and we'll make sure that the MSP communication is working properly. And if it is, there you go. Uh, I am going to look on like DigiKey or Mouser and see if I could find these diodes though. I think I can. Uh, and then just hot air station them back on. But you can see the two very clear separations there. You can just take an X-Acto and when you're removing it um, sorry you'll you can just scrape it lightly and you'll kind of pop it right off just be very careful because you want to break the diode not the pad so just take a few scrapes and the cap uh, the diode section the cap of it the cover of it will just come right off and expose those and then you can see if you need to clean it up with your soldering iron so hopefully that helps let me know if you need any other uh, I don't know advice or how to's on pulling these suckers apart or making them naked or anything like that thanks have a great day and keep them flying